This is Bamet Arthur Butler. I'm here with one of the local heroes. In my opinion, she's definitely a hero. So I want each one of you to understand that uh, to imprint a child to come out and come up the way you want it to, you have to be there for them. So I'm here today with Miss Susie Burden, Mrs. Susie Burden, a longtime friend of mine, and part of her class. So, Ms. Burton, tell me a little something about yourself in the class. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Ms. Susie Burton. Um, I am a member here at Bethel Bible Missionary Church. I'm married to George Burton, have four children, eight grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren who I had opportunity to teach about the Lord. Um, the, the purpose of this school, Footprints Christian Academy, is to teach our children about the Lord because it has been lost in our school for not teaching our children manners, respect, and about the Lord. And I thank Brother Butler so much for the opportunity because most of the time, a lot of people don't think it is important to teach our children about the Lord. So we had the opportunity, Brother Butler and myself had the opportunity to go to Sunday school. We went to Sunday school, we went to church, we went to church in the evening, but nowadays children don't have that opportunity. So um, when I came over here at Bethel Bible Missionary Church from St. Paul, I started um, singing on the choir, which I love to sing. And I started um, in Sunday school, teaching little children in Sunday school. So I saw how they just didn't know about the Lord. So I just continued to, it. Lord just kept it on my heart to teach children about Jesus, to teach them about they have a destiny. And one day they're going to leave this earth and we have somewhere we have to go. We're just not going to just end it. So that is one of the purposes that I continued Christian education. And I've worked with children now probably for 60 years, tell my age in a minute, <laughs> and I love what I do. Um, pastor Fleming, which is my pastor, he started Bethel Christian Academy. And as a result, we ran into some problems. So we were going to close it. So Lord laid on my heart to try to keep the school open, to continue the education for children. So there were a lot of things I had to go through to get it to start all over again. So we had to change our name to Footprints Christian Academy, and that's how we began. And ever since 2013, I have been director and teacher of the school, and I have other teachers as well. And I have some of my children with me. Um, uh, I love this opportunity, what I'm doing. God is just using just a little bit of what he has blessed me with. Amen. I had godly parents, and some of the children that I teach don't have godly parents. And they are all on Sunday mornings looking at television, and we talk about it. The children and I talk about it. We just can do other things other than just the game, tablet, the phone. Amen. So they, they're they at home. Sometimes I say you take time out if you don't do anything but just recite the books of the Bible, recite something. So God has blessed me to do this, and I want to continue because a lot of people are ready to retire, but I didn't see that in the Bible. I didn't see anything in the Bible about retiring. Mm -hmm. So I'm still, God giving me my health, um, and I'm just still teaching the children about the Lord. So I have K-3 through 6th grade, and I have the K, I don't have K-3, the little one's with me right now. But I have third grades, fourth, and fifth, and sixth. Kingston is my only sixth grade because as the children get older, they are going to public school because they want to get into sports. But I do have parents that want their children to stay in a Christian environment. And I'm going to let them say some Bible verses. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, I'm going to let them say some Bible verses. But first of all, I'm going to let you introduce yourselves. I'll start with you, Kingston, since you're the oldest. I know you already did. Okay, Kingston, you stand up and look at me. There you go, and a big old smile. That's fantastic. Uh, 
My name is Kingston Massey, and I'm in the sixth grade. Okay, and Kingston, you've been here how many years? About six, five, Fa or seven years. Fantastic. Okay, thank you so much. And this is Miss Who? Carter Dickinson. Lada Carter. Carter Dickinson. Miss Dickinson, okay. How long have you been here, Miss Dickinson? Mm -hmm. How many? Eight years. Eight years? Eight Fan years. Fantastic. Been here eight years. He's been here six. Six years. Tell me what grade you're in. Third. Fantastic. I am in the fifth grade. Mr. Anderson. Been here six, six years. Six years. Fantastic. My name is Ayala Your name is Miss Roseman? I think I might know some of your people, Miss Roseman. You know, you know the Beats family? Yes. She's a Beats. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. She Phyllis Beats is yeah. married James Beats. Mm -hmm. So it's Phyllis Beats great granddaughter. Oh, okay. Yes. My name is Sadella McCrary. I've been here. I I'm nine years old and I've been here for six years. Yes. They're sisters and brothers. Oh great. Sisters. Great. I have a lot of siblings. Fantastic. Yes. Mr. Roger. Fourth grade. Mr. Rogers in fourth grade. Okay, great. And we also teach children a lot of black history. We just was talking the other day about uh, slavery because our children didn't know anything about, a lot about that. And we talked about that. We talked about some of the people that helped us get here, which was our ancestors. Mm -hmm. So we do black history. We do a, a, about our city, our mayor, they, they learn a lot about that. Uh, and I just wanted them to touch bases on the presidents. But first of all, we teach a lot of Bible. Mm -hmm. These children, when they leave here, they have a lot of memory in the Bible. Plus, we try to put it here in their heart. But we know that when they leave here, a lot of times they are going to be up against things that they don't know how to handle. And all you have to do is just call on the name of the Lord. Right. And that's why we they know just about as much as I do. Good, good. So we're going to say um, the books of the Bible. First of all, please give it to him so he can make sure that you are on the same path. I've got it in order. So it's going to be